According to my latest email notifications, Israel has begun its ground war into Gaza. For the past week, we have been seeing images that have seared our souls and watching the casualty count rise on both sides. And those images and those numbers are going to change uh, over the course of the next few days. The numbers of Israelis will not be ascending and the number of Palestinians and Gazans will continue to rise and perhaps accelerate. And the images that we will see will be of the destruction of Gaza City. And we will hear on the news Hamas apologists accusing Israel of genocide and using as evidence not only the ground invasion and the destruction of civilian centers in Gaza, but the blockade that Israel has imposed on Gaza, food and medicine. So I want to remind people of two things. The first is that the misery that the Gazans are experiencing could be alleviated in the next hour if Hamas were to release the hostages that it took on Shabbat on Shemini Yatzeret. This is Israel's best leverage to get those hostages released without any further bloodshed, and Hamas always has the option to surrender and to return the hostages that it kidnapped. The second point I want to remind people of is that the siege is being conducted by two countries, Israel and Egypt. There is nothing stopping Egypt from recognizing its humanitarian responsibilities and allowing the Gazans who have been asked by the IDF to flee Gaza City to enter into Egypt and a tent city, a series of tent cities could be set up in the Northern Sinai in order to accommodate the humanitarian disaster that is clearly unfolding. Egypt has refused to do so. Israel is not responsible for Egypt's decisions. Egypt, uh, Israel is not responsible for Hamas's decisions. This Monday, beginning at four o'clock, there will be a march in Center City and then a rally beginning at four o'clock. That information uh, can be found on a link in this constant contact, as well as another link to the times that the trains are leaving to Center City from various spots in Elkins Park and its immediate surroundings. The loss of life is tragic. The loss of civilian life is tragic without any qualifications. We know this, we recognize this ritually by removing wine from our wine glass on Pesach to represent the innocent Egyptians who got caught up in the plagues and the destruction during the Exodus because of Pharaoh's enslavement of the Israelites. We take no joy in death or destruction. We do what we feel we must in order to protect our people and the state of Israel from any further massacres as we saw this past week. I wish people strength, chazak ve'amatz, and to the degree possible, may we turn off our news for Shabbat when we light candles tonight to bring Shabbat in, to try to breathe in that light and that sense of peace, if only for 25 hours, to give ourselves resolve for the oncoming week. Shabbat Shalom.